Hello everyone, my name is Kaswina Radhakrishnan and I am from University Science Malaysia. I'm here today to present a conceptual study entitled Leveraging on Knowledge Transfer Methods in CPD to Gain Training Effectiveness. In this presentation, we will be looking at the different knowledge transfer methods and how they can be used to further leverage training effectiveness in CPD. Or rather, this study would propose how to investigate the relationships between these elements. Before going any further, I would like to introduce several key factors in this study. Firstly is CPD, which means Continuing Professional Development and is a strategy that is used by many human resource management worldwide. Likewise, CPDs are crucial in the Malaysian education system. Teachers constantly attend training that comes and covers a myriad of content related to education. Now, in this CPD training session, a process that occurs is knowledge transfer. The information is passed from one agent to another in a cascade process. Cascade model of transferring information is aptly presented in this diagram in the slide. Whereby, a first cohort or generation of trainers is trained in a specific subject and move on to be trainers to the second cohort or generation. The information is passed down from one stage or tier to another stage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this cascade model has been very widely used in CPDs, especially in Malaysia. Since the introduction of the MEB, Malaysian Educational Blueprint 2013-2025, a variety of training in the education has been carried out using this cascade model. However, researchers have identified several issues pertaining to the way the information is transferred. Teachers generally voice out lack of confidence, understanding and insufficiency in receiving information during training. Recent literature also shows that there are several factors that affect training effectiveness. Some of the issues that have been highlighted relate to training design, lack of a proper measuring system, and training characteristics. Therefore, this conceptual study is suggested to leverage the elements in knowledge transfer which are related to the factors highlighted in recent literature. Based on Bandura's social learning theory, the emphasis on learning or absorbing information is done by observing, modeling, and imitating behavior, attitude, and emotional reaction of others. It considers both the influence of environmental and cognitive factors that influence learning. In lieu to that, Baldwin and Ford in their transfer model have stated three dimensions which are training design, transfer climate, and training characteristics. Training design refers to the design or the content of the training, whereas transfer climate refers to the work environment and the support given by the superiors as well as colleagues, and training characteristics refers to the personality of the teachers who attend the training. Moving on to the research objectives. The research objective of this study is to investigate the relationship between training design and training effectiveness of the cascade training model between the two tiers of the CEFR master trainers. 
Now, why do we uh, choose the CEFR master trainers? Is because we would want to specify the outcome and narrow down to a specific educational training which has been carried out constantly since 2016. And this is re referred to the Common European Framework of Reference, CEFR, which is done by the English teachers nationwide. The English Language Training Centre, ELTC, has details of all the selected trainers and these trainers can be the sample of the population. So going back to the research objectives, we have three research objectives here whereby we, we would like to investigate the relationship between training design and training effectiveness, training climate and training effectiveness, as well as training characteristics and training effectiveness of the cascade training model between the two tiers of the CEFR master trainers. The methodology of this proposed study here are 200 national master trainers and 350 district master trainers from Malaysia. The research tool will be a questionnaire and the study setting will involve all primary and secondary schools in Malaysia. The master trainers will be selected from all the primary and secondary schools in Malaysia. Now, the significance of this study, or rather the outcome of this study, will be helpful for the Ministry of Education, for the Curriculum Development Centre, and even the English Language Training Centre, as it could prevent the assumptions made on failure in training and leverage the knowledge transfer methods in training. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all that I would like to share with you today. Thanks for your attention.